In this video, I am going to tell you five ways that you can reduce your waste. My name is Rama from Creations Landscape Designs, Artfully Landscapes. I'm going to share with you five things that you can do to reduce your waste. But before I do that, I make videos about drought tolerant landscapes, California native landscapes, zero waste, sustainability around California, and much more. And if you'd like to get more of that content in your feed, and learn how to have a more water efficient California landscape, then hit the red subscribe button to get notified every time I post videos on Fridays. So, let's get going. The first thing that you can do to reduce your waste is to simply refuse the things that you don't need. Let's face it, the holidays are around the corner and people might be inclined to buy you gifts. But the thing is, do you need those gifts? Realistically, the answer is no. I tell people, I don't need Christmas presents. The quality of your company is present enough. And what could someone possibly get me that I don't need? Sure, it would be nice if I had a new car, but obviously that's not something anybody's realistically gonna get me. And all the little things that people could buy me as presents are things that ultimately I just don't need. So just refuse to get presents and refuse to give presents. Instead, give your time as a present. And in the long run, people will remember that better than over some gift. And the second thing you can do to reduce your waste is shop locally at the farmer's market and buy in bulk. Now when you go to the farmer's market, you get things that are sticker free, package free, and you get produce, organic or not, that was picked the week that you bought it. It wasn't delivered in some truck, kept in some freezer for a certain period of time. It's fresh for you to enjoy. And when you buy in bulk, you can buy as little or as much as you need. You can go to Ikea or make your own little reusable bags. They sell some at Ikea. They probably sell some online on Amazon and whatnot. And you can put your beans, whatever kind of beans you get in bulk in the bag, it works perfectly. You get just the right amount, you don't get excess, and you avoid plastic packaging or packaging in general. The third thing that you can do to reduce your waste is compost. Now the benefit of composting is that, first of all, you are decomposing the food that you ate and not sending it to the landfill. And if you worm compost like I do, or however you compost, that extra garden waste that automatically decomposes becomes nutrient soil to add to your garden. And then you can add those beneficial nutrients to your soil. The fourth thing, fourth thing that you can do to reduce your waste is to use your garden waste. So let's say, for example, you have a deciduous tree. The leaves drop every fall. You don't have to throw away those leaves because those leaves can be mulch. They will decompose over time and add nutrients from the tree back to the soil. And the fifth thing that you can do to reduce your waste is to consider alternatives to traditional things. For example, I don't use Clorox bleach to clean any ounce of my home. I use baking soda, which I can buy in bulk. It works just the same as Clorox bleach, but it's significantly cheaper. I can get it package free. It's far more sustainable to the environment. It doesn't smell like some toxic chemical like Clorox does. Instead of buying some sort of toxic cleaning product, I make my own cleaning product, which is literally just a little bit of water with some white vinegar some sort of essential oil to mask the smell of the vinegar and sometimes I'll put in a little bit of lemon juice and a smidge of soap and I mix it together in a water bottle and I use that to spray my home with to clean my home with it works it's non-toxic doesn't smell bad way more beneficial to my health and if you've got kids, do you really want your kids 
breathing all those toxic chemicals.